بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما Now the next thing we'll talk about which firewall option suits your network requirements and then we'll see what are the uh, vendors offering the firewall services in the market now which firewall option is used like uh, in the previous videos we discussed about some stateless packet filtering stateful packet filtering where all the asa firewall supports stateful packet filters uh, we can also configure application level gateways a web proxy servers either uh, included in the firewall service or maybe a separately and also most of the next generation firewalls which support some of the advanced options like url filtering uh, avc and next generation ips for again advanced malware protection these features now probably will be using all of them required and used in all the networks because so technically in the in the production networks we will be using all of them like you got an asa firewall or any any firewall let's say any specific firewall so every firewall supports a common feature of stateful packet filtering so it must maintain the state of the traffic which is moving in the network and because we we been, we want to allow the user sitting in the lan should be able to access the internet at the same time return traffic should come at the same time if the traffic is initiated from the outside interface should be denied and that is possible with the help of stateful packet filtering and also we we may write some acls uh maybe a stateless uh, acls to specifically permit selected traffic so we'll be using acls in general not only on the routers even on the firewalls because acls will decide what traffic should be allowed or denied in general when it is passing through the firewall from lan to internet or maybe from internet to dnz like that so almost all the firewall supports this uh, basic filtering or specific traffic uh, to be permitted and we we may also use some access filtering like acls at the layer 2 like maybe within the lan you got a user when he connects to the network and before he access the network like network access uh, we can also allow the user to download some acls specifically like downloadable acls uh, we'll use some downloadable acls before he access the network like uh, what are the resources he can access in the specific acls that that is something related to 8.0.1x uh, we will be talking about that in the network access uh, triplet and also you you may need some application gateways also like you you might be you, you also want to make sure that your web traffic is filtered as well as it is cached or web web caching or web filtering services so we can you can either your firewall may either, either support this feature or you can configure some separate proxy servers like cisco have its own product called wsa web safety appliance uh, which is a gateway for all the traffic which is going over the internet it goes to wsa and we can do some kind of web filtering or web caching feature sub- services and also you you may use some other product like email gateway like you you may also want to filter some spams spam emails so typically uh, which may carry some kind of uh, vulnerabilities in general so you may want to filter or or monitor all the traffic which is uh, coming and going inside in and out your mail servers probably you you also need an email gateway so cisco have its own product called esa email security appliance so these are the additional devices which are used for smtp or http inspection like i said esa email security appliance uh, which is a gateway for in uh, inbound and the outbound email servers http inspection and the traffic control done by wsa and also you need some stateful firewalls along with the next generation uh, firewall features because uh, stateful firewalls allows you to filter the traffic define some rules but if you're using next generation firewalls they they support more additional options like advanced malware protection and with this advanced malware protection we can scan the content uh, based on mal um, known or unknown malwares uh, and also some next generation ips features additional additional features it, it also supports avc as a discussed application visibility control where you can control uh, security policies based on the user accounts uh, as well as you can sorry application visibility control based on micro applications you can monitor like on the facebook you may want to allow the facebook but you want to deny a voice or video chatting something like that a specific micro application inside that inside the url 
or we can also define some security policies based on username and the security tags in general so most of the uh, vendors do support many of these features maybe on in a single product or you may have individual products to support and we got different vendors in the market uh, offering these firewall services now these features varies depending upon the vendors probably you can visit the individual website of each vendor to figure out the individual features probably you will see and also you'll feel, see some blocks which actually compares the differences between these individual uh, vendors what they offer and what are the services they offer and if you want to implement any of this uh, implementations like you may want to implement all of this you need to see which firewall actually supports that or which vendor supports that or you can have a multiple combination of uh, devices in general but here our focus will be majorly on the Cisco products here as we are doing a uh, Cisco specific courses we'll be talking about uh, majorly about the Cisco products and the features so technically the features remains the same any vendors generally you use naming wise they may use different names uh, depends but here most of the terminologies and the concepts will be dealing with uh, will be talking about Cisco related stuff but in other vendors they may have the same stuff with the different names